Hey guys, it's Mimi and I am back with another tutorial and it's for this look of course. And it's just like a kind of like a natural glow with a subtle smoky eye, not too heavy. We're not using any liner, just focus on the eyes and the face and just regular summer day. This is what you want to look like. So um, I actually did this look for a fashion shoot with uh, Wealth and Wellness Magazine. Um, I will put the link for you guys as well so you can um, you can check them out. And I um, did this look on myself for one of the looks because I doubled as the makeup artist and as a model. And um, yeah, I really like this look. So I was like, I want to share it with you guys. Hopefully this was part of the um, beach theme that we had and um, yeah it was the shoot was actually yesterday I don't know when it'll actually be up just it was a joy and um, so yeah I'm rambling now so anyway if you want to see how I did this look please continue watching okay so for this look I'm gonna be using my Bam and Rose foundation and um, I'm giving you guys my clear face so this is my face nothing on it except a regular moisturizer um, so I'm just gonna take you through the steps of how I use my bare minerals for those that may so not know. So what you want to do is put some in the lid if there's not any in there already you can see so I'm just gonna add a little bit more to what I have and um, sorry for the noise I do have my fan on because it is super ridiculously hot outside and in here and I you don't have just bear with that noise I have my music on. I don't know if you can hear it just to kind of take away some of that fan sound. So now I'm just uh, swirling that brush in there just like that. And then you're going to tap it off like that. Tap it like that. And then just apply to your face in circular motion. You want to take as much as you feel you need. This is uh, very buildable. So if you're looking for like a, a full coverage, just keep building it on until you're satisfied with, um, with the coverage you have. Okay, so that's the coverage that I want. So to bring some color to the face, what I'm going to do is take warm. And this is um, this is just and what do you call it? A um, I'm just universal what's color in the lid already with this um, flawless face brush, and that's the Bare Minerals brush as well. And I'm just going to apply this all over the face. Gonna get started on the eyes okay so as a base I'm taking uh, max Penalty paint pot and I'm taking this uh, Royal Atlantic brush and this one is the cream shadow brush from the silk pro collection I'm just going to apply that Penalty all over the eyelid So we have that done. And um, first color I'm going to be using is Max Cork Eyeshadow. And this is like a soft brown kind of color. And I'm going to take this uh, 217 brush. And I'm only putting this on the inside of the eye, about here. 
and just taking it up about right there. Okay, and now I'm going to take this uh, pink frontier. It comes like a shimmery, hmm, it's like a shimmery pink, like little gold flecks. And this one is the uh, Pro Longwear eyeshadow. I'm trying to show it to you if you can see. My light is making it very bright. But I'm going to take um, one second if I can find my brush. Taking this Real Technique um, base brush. And we're going to apply this right to the bottom portion of the lid. You want to start right in there, making sure not to cover the cork eyeshadow we put earlier. You want to stay right below that crease. If you get some on the crease, it's okay, but you want to just stay right here. So it should look like that. And from there, I'm going to take um, just eyeshadow. This is like a shimmery, like this really soft pink color. And I'm going to use my 239 brush. And we're just going to use this as the uh, under the brow highlight. should look like that and the next color we're going to use is um, <clears throat> this one is one to watch and this is another pro long wear color and it's like a pinkish brown and I'm going to take if I can find it I'm trying to find my brush I lost it let's see here it is. Taking this uh, 217 brush again, and we're going to apply this to the crease. And now I'm going to take the 224 brush from MAC, and we're going to just blend all those colors together right into that crease. And now what we're gonna do is take um, this pencil brush by MAC, and this one is the 219, this one here. And I'm gonna take uh, Mystery from MAC. This is like a dark brown. And we're just gonna put this right in that outer corner. I just want to pat it just like that. Then we're going to go back in with the 224 brush from MAC. And we got to blend those together right there into that crease. Just to create some depth. And just blend it really well. What we're going to do is take this 219 brush again and taking cork, we're just going to line that, um, that lower lash line with the color 
just trying to rub some of this old color off on my hand. So you just want to put it right under here. And now we're going to take this um, I'm going to take this pixel point brush from Real Technique and I'm going to take the pink frontier again. I'm going to apply that right here just a little bit. Now it's just going to be a base because we're going to actually use another color. Now we're going to go back with the uh, one to watch. Go right here, kind of in the middle. And then from there, we're going to take Mystery. And that's going to go on the outer portion of that lash line. Let's take it up a little bit onto that top portion of the lash line. Because we're not going to use liner, so we're just going to try to thicken, give the um, the lashes a thick look to it by keeping it a little dark there, kind of give them that fuller look. And then from there, our very last color, we're going to be using this Bare Minerals shadow. And it does look like this. So if you want, you can take it and smear it all on your eye. Not now, but um, just in general. But what I'm going to do is just take this brush again, and I'm just rubbing it across here just to get that color on there. And we're going to put this right here in the inner corner. Okay, so the eyes are done, except now we're going to use some black mascara. The one that I'm using is the Turbo Volume um, Express Waterproof from Maybelline. And we're, I'm not using, um, I'm not going to put any lashes on if you'd like to put some natural looking lashes, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to sweep away any fallouts that I might have, might have had. And then um, from there, now I'm taking my mineral veil. And I'm just taking what's in the litter ring. And then using the flawless brush again, swirling that in. And then tapping off the excess. And uh, the reason why I waited to use this is because I knew I was going to have a little bit of fallout. And I didn't want to, um, wanted to wipe that away first before I, I apply I run this. London. And this is the natural bronzer. And this one is in sunlight. And I'm just going to take my uh, stippling brush. And this one is from the Royal Atlantical to the Silk face. Pro Collection. The... Sun glow as well, and I've used that in my other tutorials. But to me, they're one of the best bronzers. I'm like going to use a another bronzer. This one I just use for like more of a glow. Um, just like to give that natural sun, some light to the face. But I'm going to use this actual uh, bronzer. <clears throat> this one is from Tarte, and it's Park Avenue Princess. 
I'm taking that stippling brush again. Now I'm going to take my blush. This one is Bare Minerals. And what I'm going to use is this uh, Ink Face Brush. Love Radiance. And I'm going to put this onto the cheek. I'm just going to use what's in the lid, but I'm also dumping some of that color out. It was too much in there. And just the same technique applies, the swirl. And tap. And then apply it to the face. Just like that. And then we're going to highlight the rest of the face using this uh, fan brush. This is also a Royal Atlantical fan brush from the Silk Pro Collection. And I'm trying to turn it this way so I don't um, to let the fan blow out the product. And um, this is the Silver Dust from MAC. And I'm just dipping my fan brush into the jar. I'm just going to dump a little bit off into the lid and tap that off. I'm just very lightly just highlighting the face. So just like that. It's and called Super for the Lips. It says Dr. T Super Goop and it's a mint fusion lip balm with shea butter. It soothes, protects, and hydrates and also has an F SPS. Oh, I can't talk today. An SPF of 30 so I'm using this as a base and then um, I'm gonna use this uh, relaxation this is from the casual color lip and cheek collection and it looks like this it's like a soft pink and I'm just gonna use this onto my lips I do find that without a base, it can be very drying. So that's when I like to use like a lip balm, even a lip gloss, and then put this on top or even vice versa. You put it on the bottom, put a gloss on top. So yeah, this is the look. Um, if you don't already, um, Please like my Butterfly Facebook Beauty page. 713. And um, yeah, you can find me there. That way you can just, you know, contact me, speak yeah, to me. That way you can see the pictures when I post them. Also, if you have Instagram, I'm on Instagram as well. Same name, Butterfly Beauty 713. So you can find me there as well. Um, yeah, so. Thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate you guys subbing and watching my videos. So until next time.